you have all taken time out to actually come and come with us and uh, participate in our forum this morning and this uh, this whole day. And kung uh, nakikinig ako kanina, hindi lang pala Metro Manila nagkalat pala all over sa Luzon at meron pang galing sa ibang mga balansa. Now, um, just to introduce to you our society, let me give you a, a just show you a short uh, program. Hold on. our society is all about. It's the Philippine Society for Bones and Joints Care Incorporated. That's our logo. It's not actually an S for Superman, but it's a it's a fluidity of bones, which means that uh, it's not really an angular thing, but something that's fluid and it's supposed to not feel anything, no pain whatsoever, so that's our vision. Our mission is to intensively advance the excellence in prevention, early detection, treatment, reversal of effects of bone and joint diseases, and well-being of human life. That's our mission. But our vision is a major pillar in the pursuit and prevention of compassionate, patient-focused, and sustainable system of bone and joint care, efficiently managed and progressive treatment paradigm and performed in the spirit of caring, no wala yung G. Because in the idea, the thing is, if you notice nowadays, most of our hospitals and centers are actually being uh, privatized, especially for the government institutions. So one of our vision is to actually be able to help, especially those who are most in need. Not only during calamities, not only during uh, uh, monsoon trains or uh, whatever uh, disasters that we might have that we always would conquer, but uh, for the poor as well. Now, our, a little history about this, how this brought about, is basically uh, uh, an idea of one person. He's actually here right now, Mr. Edward Kuhn, and we'll tell you about that later. We actually started out with a bones and joints care for the century endorsed by the Ministry of Health of China. That's actually where the idea of this society came about. And if you notice, red smack in the middle is actually the Minister of Health of, uh, of China. And he was at the one who actually endorsed the Society for Bones and Joints Care of the Century. And in which the leader, because you know, sa bansang China, hindi yan katulad dito sa Pilipinas, na pag ginusto natin na magpulong-pulong, magpapadala ng imbitasyon si Sir Joey, si Dr. Mangkaw, si Tita Emilu, at pagkatapos tayo lahat nandiyan ito. Ganun kasimple yan, di ba? Sa bansang China, hindi po pwede yan. Hindi po pwede ganito. Huhulihin tayo lahat pag ginawa natin yan. In China, you have to have the endorsement of the government. And you just don't simply build up a society just because you want to build up a society. You actually have to apply for that and for them to actually endorse you for you to become a society. And the leader of that is technically uh, similar to an ambassador already. And here we have, of course, over there, Edward Koo giving his privileged speech as an ambassador for bones and joints care. And uh, I'd like to point here in the middle, in front, he actually is here with us right now, all the way from Malaysia, and he's headed back to Beijing tomorrow. Just for this activity, please stand up, Mr. Edward Koo, our international advisor. Thank you very much. He's the guy who spearheaded this idea of what we have right now. And not only that, but because we actually have the International Advisory Board for Bones and Joints Care. If you notice, uh, United Nations Latin and John, we have doctors and specialists from Beijing. We have this guy, uh, Professor Wong, he's actually a naka kung fu outfit because he literally is a kung fu master. He's Alam niyo po dito sa Pilipinas, pagka si Presidente Pinoy eh, umaalis, may convoy, di ba? Mapapansin niyo sa dulong-dulong may ambulansya. Siya lang po ang may ambulansya na convoy dahil hindi pa pwede umalis ang Pangulo na walang doktor na kasama. Sa Bansang China, siya po yung kasama ng Prime Minister. So it was privileged to actually have them there during one of our conferences. We have uh, somebody from the UK, uh, Keith Nan, who is actually one of the specialists in nanotechnology. And nanotechnology, hindi lang po yan sa pelikulang G.I. Joe na nababasa at napapanood. But nanotechnology nowadays comes in 
even with food, even with nutraceuticals. So he's a guy who actually has two out of six, uh, as you say, patents for stevia. Naririnig niyo yung stevia, di ba? Yan yung ginagamit niyo ng pang-sweetener na natural na dahon lang kasi. Sa buong mundo, aalim lang ang patents, he holds two of them. He's actually a Malaysian national, but he's based in the UK. The guy in the middle, he used to be part, uh, former uh, undersecretary of uh, the Minister of Health, and uh, he was there with us. We have Beati over there, who's part, he's, she's German, she's actually part of a uh, big pharmaceutical company, uh, Pfizer, way back when, if I'm not right, Edward. Uh, she used to be part of Pfizer long ago, yes, all of these companies. But she's also part of patient care and patient management. Uh, of course, Nandan po ako, si Edward. Martin Walters is one of the leading uh, proprietors of uh, collagen in Germany for bones and joints care. And of course, two other doctors from, uh, also from Beijing. Now, uh, ito po kami. So this is uh, part of the International Advisory Board. And like we mentioned, kayo basta basta pwede magsalita na hindi kayo pinapayagan. And it was funny because during this time, ito yung uh, nag-aaway, hanggang ngayon naman nag-aaway dun sa boundaries ng Pilipinas sa Tanzina. So muntik pa ako hindi makapunta and because of Edward that I was able to come in and uh, be able to speak. So ito yung titulong ibinibigay sa amin para makapagsalita kami. And this is uh, the board. And we actually were talking to something like 600 Chinese na hindi ko alam na hindi naman kami nakakaintindihan. Mukha naman hindi nakakaintindihan dahil hindi naman ako marunong magsalita ng, ng Chino. Ni Hao tsaka siya sila ang alam ko. And it was Edward who actually, uh, he was the one who actually uh, interpreted for me. But bottom line, at the end of the day, we were able to understand that whatever nationality you're in, pretty much you're all the same. We're still human beings, have the same disease entities, have the same problems, and eventually have the same goals in life. So not only that, but this society in China started out studies and trials for bones and joints, scare specifically for knee pains. We, uh, they, we actually started out trial involving the Beijing Geriatric Hospital. They actually are, they are on their second trial already because alam niyo mga trials, ang mga doktor eh medyo hindi basta basta naniniwala, hindi basta basta nakikinig unless may mga ebidensya. Paminsan naman lahat naman tayo kailangan yan, di ba? And that, ang nangyayari after this is that wala namang trials na ginagawa for Asians. They're usually Europeans, they're usually Americans, Australians even, but seldom would you hear of Asian trials. So this is one of the leading proponents of an Asian trial for orthopedic knees, headed by uh, Dr. Chen, of a uh, leader of the uh, Department of Bones and Joints. Uh, China is saying the orthopedics and tawag, bones and joints and tawag sa kanila. And then, um, if you notice, the Beijing Geriatric Hospital is one of the biggest hospitals in Beijing. As a matter of fact, nung kasagsagan ng SARS, Diba, ito po lahat ng pasyente dito dinadala sa hospital na ito. Ganun kalaki yung hospital na yan. Parang maliit na ng probinsya sa laki. And uh, ang biro pa nga namin dito is ayaw namin basta humawak ng lamesa. Because during the forum, andun po kami lahat. Iba kami SARS. Ang biro naman nila sa sobrang laki at lawak ng lugar, hindi yata maabot doon yung bacteria. Anyway, so we got a chance and a privilege to tour the hospital. Ganun din. It's the same disease entities. We see people lying in bed, mga nakabitin ng mga joints, pare-pareho rin ang problema. Now, not only that, but the trials were also uh, conformed with international standards, and we were able to go actually to Eberbach in Germany, that's at the outskirts of, of Heidelberg. Kung mapapansin nyo itong building na ito, napakaganda kasi litrato sa postcard yan. Hindi po talagang kinunan namin. Bakit? Kung mapapansin nyo, may lake, and nandun kasi kami sa kabilang dulo ito kami nakatayo we were able to be with uh, Martin Walters who was with us in China and uh, Dr. Kosman who's one of the leading uh, doctors for bones and joints care in Germany so this is actually where we started out and eventually we got incorporated in the Securities Exchange Commission as a non-government organization we were actually launched just last year June 6, 2013 in Club Filipino, in San Juan, in Metro Manila. But technically, the concept came about in Malaysia last December 29, 2012. So relatively, it's a new organization. Wala pang ako kami isang taon. 
Now, for the officers, we have the chairman of the board, Emily Fillamore, who's in front. Nawala na si Ma'am Emily Lu. Nasa na. She's in the back right now, Ma'am Emily Lu. Nawala na. The chairman of the board, of course, yours truly as president. Our vice president, Dr. Mary Jean Nacero, she's in front. We have uh, our secretary, Rilda Kalimang, na sumasalubong sa inyo sa harapan. Rilda, say hi. And secretary, uh, treasurer, Richie Salvacion. And of course, our international advisor, Mr. Edward Koo. And of course, hindi lang po natatapos dyan dahil meron po kaming board of directors. Pagkatapos ko muna nilipratan mo ma'am. <laughs> Our directors, of course, we have Dr. Mangkao, Christian Emmanuel Mangkao, right here in front. Sir. <laughs> we have Michelle Palma, coming from Pagadian. She's in a flight right now, just in time for her lecture later on. Of course, we have Joselito Gutierrez. Sir, are you now? And the Lita Sibao, of course, is one of our directors. Now, of course, your officers, Mr. Edward Chu, and we were inducted by none less but than Dr. Efren de los Santos. He's actually the son of uh, Jose de los Santos, who is known in the Philippines as the father of Philippine orthopedics. Well, he passed away in uh, 2001, so it was our privilege that his son and director of the hospital of the De Los Santos Medical Center was able to induct us during this time. So, um, I guess that, just, just to introduce to you who we are, the Philippine Society of Bones and Joints Care, and hopefully by the time the day ends, eh sana kasama na rin namin po kayong lahat. So with that, maraming maraming salamat po.